Week 1, Day 3 Wilmington's Guide to the Bible, page 166 Roman numeral 2 The Desolation of the City of God, Jerusalem Ezekiel 4 through Ezekiel 24 there were three distinct phases in the Babylonian captivity and the siege of Jerusalem. Page 167 Chart, top of page 167 Ezekiel's Living Creatures and the Gospels Ezekiel's description of the living creatures in Ezekiel 1 verse 10 echoes through the Gospels to Revelation. Matthew writing to the Jews, pictures Christ as a lion, the Messiah. Mark, writing to the Romans, pictures Christ as an ox, the servant. Luke, writing to the Greeks, pictures Christ as the perfect man. John, writing to the whole world, pictures Christ as the eagle, the mighty God. See also Ezekiel 2814 outline, page 172, the fourfold gospel account, page 214, and Revelation 4, 6 through 8 outline, page 419. Continuation of page 167. In 605 BC, at this time Daniel and other individuals of noble birth were carried away. 2 Chronicles 36, 6 through 7, and Daniel 1, 3 through 4. In 597 BC, during this phase, both King Jehoiachin and Ezekiel, along with many others, were taken into Babylon. 2 Kings 24, 10 through 16. In 586 BC, at this final time, Judah's last king, Zedekiah, was carried away. The walls of Jerusalem were destroyed, and both temple and city were burned. 2 Kings 25, 1-7 The events recorded here in Ezekiel 4 through Ezekiel 24 took place between the second and third phases, between 597 and 586 B.C. Apparently, there were false prophets both in Jerusalem and in Babylon who brazenly assured the Jews that God would not dare destroy his own city even though it had already suffered two bitter sieges. But Ezekiel knew otherwise, and he attempted through symbolism, parables, visions, and messages to warn everyone that the holy city would indeed suffer desolation and destruction. Capital Letter A Ezekiel's Twelve Symbolic Acts 1. He drew a map of Jerusalem on a large, flat clay tablet showing siege mounds being built against the city. He then added more details, portraying the enemy camps around it and the placement of the battering rams. He finally placed an iron plate between the map and himself. This was to indicate the impenetrable wall of the Babylonian army and also to show the impossibility of escape. Ezekiel 4, 1 through 3. 2. He lay on his left side a few hours each day for 390 days to symbolize the iniquity of the northern kingdom. Each day was to represent a year. Ezekiel 4, 4 through 5. 3. He then lay on his right side a few hours each day for 40 days to depict the iniquity of Judah, the southern kingdom. Again, each day was to represent a year, Ezekiel 4, 6. It must be admitted that the full meaning of these time periods cannot be known. Unger explains Ezekiel's actions in part. His discomfort for 390 days on his left side and 40 days on his right side total 430 years, symbolically a year for a day, recalled the Egyptian servitude, Exodus 12, 40-41. A similar captivity would engulf both Israel and Judah. The captivity of the northern kingdom was to be longer, however. Unger's Bible Handbook, page 367. 4. He prepared bread made with mixed grains and baked it over dried cow dung which had been set afire. 
This was to indicate the scarcity of food in Jerusalem and the way the people would be forced to eat defiled food while living in Gentile nations. Ezekiel 4, 9-17 5. He shaved his head and beard with a sharp sword and then divided the hair into three equal parts. Ezekiel 5, 1-4 A. One-third he burned. B. One-third he cut up with the sword. C. One-third he scattered to the wind. All this was to indicate what was in store for Judah and Jerusalem. One-third of her citizens would die by fire in the siege of Jerusalem. One-third of her citizens would fall by the sword, and the remaining third would be scattered to the wind. 6. He was to stamp his feet and clap his hands to get their attention. Ezekiel 6, 11.